Hey, so guys, it's Sam. How are you guys doing today? We're having a fantastic day today. We're gonna be doing the third race. Like, I think it's the sixth race of the season, but we're at Dover. And last race, he said that we were going to be driving the number five truck again. We were supposed to be driving that truck last race, and we didn't. They gave us the 92. And then this race, we were supposed to drive the five truck, and we're driving the 12 truck. So I'm not sure why they don't let us drive the five truck. Like, I mean, maybe it's something like when I restart the game. Because I do, because I have to take the PlayStation back into my room. Maybe, maybe it just, it like, randomizes the script. I think, I think the career mode on this game was made for you to, like, play multiple races in a row. It, it's not really made for you to for you to run 100% races. It's just not made for that. But we're starting 29. That, that's, like, my worst starting spot this year. So hopefully we can make up through the field and do some good stuff in this race. I'm not really good at Dover. I mean, I won um, the championship mode. NASCAR Heat Evolution I won that race in the fall. Let's get going. Let's race this race. Let's see if we can get back to victory lane for two races in a row. Two weeks in a row, too. Green flag is in the air. We are racing from Dover. First short track race of my career. Corbin Forrester, once again, the truck I'm supposed to be driving. Already up to 18th on lap 2, 17th. And 16th, and that's as far as we're getting up on the first lap. So I'm actually just kind of trying, you know, to get more rides because we got this ride probably because we won. So probably we'll get more rides because of that win. But if we if we have bad performances, we're not going to get those rides. And I'm I'm I I looked on Wikipedia about the chase, but it never said like you know you have to be in the top 20 or top 30 or anything. I highly doubt it's the top 30 because there's only 31. And there's only 31 cars in this career for the trucks, so I doubt that it's like it's the top 30. But I'm thinking it's the top 20 that you have to be in, top 20 and a win. So I'm just trying to do this best as I can because I really don't want to risk like getting myself taken out of the chase because we, we worked hard for that win. Caution's out. I'm not even sure why. That's not the stage end or anything. No one's pinning. I'm not sure why we're under caution. We didn't do it though, so that's good. Don't you guys love how the controllers light up? It's yellow under caution. When it's green when it's green. That's awesome. I love that. I just love how it does that. No. Oh my God. What the hell? I was trying to reposition myself, and then that happened. Caution's out once again. Not sure why. Got 50 laps left on fuel, which means we had 72 laps or 73 laps. Austin Wayne self is pitting, which makes me believe that he had a crash. We're currently running in fifth right now, right behind Matt Crafton and Christopher Bell. We're going to ride with Christopher Bell. He's in the faster lane around. Actually, now nah, they're both pretty slow. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's fun to run up front every race. But if I'm going to win every race, that's not going to be fun. Like, I'm not winning every race. I, w I won one race. If I win two straight races, that's not winning every race. That's just pure skill. If I win, like, three races in a row, then I'll probably move the difficulty up. Like, I did that during the championship season for the NASCAR Heat Evolution, but that wasn't too much. Like, I, I was still good. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Looks like we're going to run fifth in this stage. Maybe we'll catch some positions. But it looks like we're going to be fifth. About 14 laps to go in the stage, though. Anything can still happen. Okay, here comes Ben Rose trying to pass us. Use the block. Use the block. Okay. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to save him from passing us. Oh, wow. He's bumping us. He's bumping and bumping and bumping. I like that because that's the same kind of thing I would do. Maybe if I move it up to normal, they'll race me even harder. It sounds really cool. Hard. Haha, <laughs> I said hard. There's loud traffic that Ben Rose is being caught in. Ross Chastain is holding him up, which means I can pass him, which is pretty cool. That's one more position for the stage. Stage points will really help me because I haven't run all the races this season. Keep in mind, I've missed three races. I've only run three of the six races. This is the sixth race. Stage points will help me. Yeah, I'm in the chase as of now, but if I, like, get out of, like, the top 30 or something, top 20, like I said, I don't know exactly what it is. If I get out of that, it could really hurt me. And plus, if there's, if there's like, four more winners... Or even, like, I think five more winners, then the eight the eight chase racers will be, you know, I'll be the one knocked out because I'm the lowest in points. So, you know, stage points will really help me. I think playoff points also kind of help, too. I'm still kind of confused about the playoff points thing. There's nothing that, like, helps you. So there's people being held up by lap traffic. Maybe we'll get around a few of them. See what we can get. And there's fourth... And that looks like what we're gonna get. Fourth place in the stage. We finished fourth in stage number one. Chris Rebels wins stage number one. Not surprised at all. It'll still be about like 30 laps or so until people are pitting. But I think 
if everything goes well, I'll be able to win stage number two. Yeah, I think NASCAR games need to have, like, this has been an issue for years, is that I think NASCAR games need to have, like, more other drivers who cause cautions than just me. Like, there'll be some random cautions sometimes where I don't see what happens, and occasionally there'll be, like, other cars that wreck. But, like, it usually has to be caused by you. I think the NASCAR game should, like, make some randomized wrecks. And not, like, if you guys have ever played NASCAR Redline, it's, like, a phone game for NASCAR. If you guys have ever played that, um, like, e every every race of that certain racetrack looks the same. There'll be the same kind of wrecks, the same kind of things. I don't want that, where there's just, like, a few random wrecks. I want, like, tons of different wrecks, like, hundreds of different combinations that could happen. I also want photo mode back. That'll help me with my thumbnail. <laughs> oh, f***ing <laughs> back. Okay, we're getting back up to speed after that. That was awful. What are we- what's happening? What's happening? My- my controller got disconnected. I think my controller died. My microphone also turned off. There we go. I don't know why. My battery was... Now we're a lap down. Oh, Matt Craft. I didn't mean to wreck Matt Craft. And I think we'll be the lucky dog, though. Yep, we're gonna be the lucky dog. I'm not sure what happened there. My controller just turned off. Like, it's plugged in. Like, it was full on battery, too. I haven't been using that much over the last 24 hours. And I'm charging it during every race that I do. I don't know why it just turned off. Mouth wide open. Mouth wide open. Mouth wide open like I was at the dentist. Mouth wide open. Mouth wide open. Put it so deep I can't speak a sentence. I just had the most weird thought. What if I was sitting here making a video of just me playing the game and then I just died? wouldn't feel too bad because at least I got it on camera. That's that's how I want to die. I want to die on camera. I don't want the police to like keep it to themselves. That's like a dick thing to do. I put it on camera for a reason. For people to see it. And I'm saying this now, so if that ever happens, it's on camera. If I if my if my death ever gets videotaped, don't keep it to yourself. Release it to the world. I want people to see it. I hate being curious about things. I, I want to know everything. Oh, during my autopsy, you can tell them my dick size. I don't care. I mean, it's embarrassingly small, but like, after I'm dead, it doesn't really matter. No, no, Sheena, Sheena, stop. Lay down. Lay down. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, good. We're good. We goid. We goid. Oh, God. Todd Gillen's right behind us. We not goid anymore. Okay, so people are- oh, Shut the f*** up, dog. I don't care about you. Some people are pitting right now, and we are passing people from now up to fourth, third, is second, maybe? Probably- Nope, not. Shut the f*** up, Sheena. I am the leader now. So my first lap led today. Okay, so we're coming around for two laps to go in stage number two. Looks like we're gonna get our second stage one of the year. Two laps to go. And here we go. Coming around for white flag. One lap to go in stage number two. Looks like we're gonna win it. Austin Wayne Self is there if we mess up. But it looks like we're gonna win it. I think Austin Wayne Self pitted earlier, right? On like one of the first cautions. I think he was the one guy who pitted. That's why he's second right now. And six seconds behind. And we win stage number two. Yes. So now, um, what's, how many laps are there remaining in this race? I have to see once they, uh finalize the stage results okay so we got 10 points and one playoff point okay so there's 110 laps to go in this race so we are not good to the end but um 26 because it'll be 73 so 26 um that means like 83 or 84 or something like that so we're gonna we're gonna pit because we'll be back to like third that's we'll be back to like third we won't be affected by it second actually we're second and i have way better tires than him See, we're already back to the lead. It's our ninth lap led today. Actually, like our 11th, probably. We are 50% done with this race, and we are now halfway done. Oh, no, 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 For f**k's sake, are you kidding me? Okay, we're still good. We just lost some positions of, uh, people are now getting back on the lead lap. We're still the leaders. And Corbin Forrester, who is in second place, is, like, still, like, three seconds behind us. We're pretty good. 
I don't know what happened there. And Austin Wayne self is pitting right now. You can see the time is going way back. He is pitting, and now he is back to third. And there he is. Austin Wayne self just lapped him. Now we are 16 seconds ahead, almost 17 seconds ahead of second place. So I think with around 70 to go, if there's no caution before then, we're probably going to take a green flag pit stop, which we haven't done yet this season. We are 20 seconds, almost 21 seconds ahead of everybody right now. We're doing better. We're really doing good. And you can say this is because I have it on easy mode. I mean, it helps, but like... Ultimately, it's my strategy. It's really my strategy. That's like, uh, yeah, it's my it's easy mode. That's that's getting me so far away from everyone. It's my strategy that's getting me into these positions to where I can do this. But yeah, I think next race I'm moving it up to normal. We're gonna pit with 69 laps to go, just to be just to be good like that. We're gonna pit with 69 laps to go. If there's no caution before that. For fuck's sake, are you fucking kidding me, you fucking fucking piece of fucking shit? What the fuck? I'm talking to myself, as a matter of fact. You fucking dumb fuck, Sam. What the fuck is wrong with you? This is the result of a fucking not wearing a condom, guys. I mean, the car broke down on the way to the abortion clinic. It, it's been a it's been a mess, you know. So that lost us like six good seconds of, of a lead. No, Will that hurt me in the long run. I don't I don't know. It might. If my lap times are constantly getting slower, then. You know, I'll probably have to take that during the during my pit stop, which which will cost a lot of time. Hoping it's no big deal though. So there's 70 laps to go. Next lap will be our pit stop because it'll be 69 to go. I don't think I'll get it repaired. I think I'm just gonna go in for forced tires and um, gas. But I might repair it, but that takes up so much time though. Okay, so we are pitting, and there we go. We didn't speed. So two cans, four tires, and no repair. This is our first green flag pit stop. It's kind of unfortunate, like if we. If this, like, affects us in the long run, just taking this pit stop. But we'll probably pass everyone. I mean, they're probably going to lap us, but then when they pit, we'll probably get at least our positions back and back to the lead. Probably won't lap them. We definitely won't lap them, but here we go. Here's our pit stop. It's 15 seconds. Oh, God. Okay, here we are, back out. We're in ninth place, one lap down. <clears throat> I think we're the uh, free pass car at this point. No, we're not. We're the second. Yeah, we're losing positions because of our um, our damage. <clears throat> it is affecting our lap times. That's that suck. We might just have to do something about that. Like this, we and take the wave around. We're pit. Didn't think about that. Didn't think about that. Take the wave around. I have to pee. Nope, NASCAR drivers don't pee. NASCAR drivers don't pee during races. Okay, there. I had to make that happen just so he could... <clears throat> I didn't wreck anyone else along with me. So we're catching back up to the field. We are now 3.5 seconds behind them. I think that's a lapped car right there. We can use that to our draft advantage. And then that'll help us get to them. And they're, they're stuck in lap traffic too, so that's going to help. We are getting so close to the field right there. Caution is out. Not sure why. Caution for debris is what he said. Okay. Okay, so now we are up to fourth already. I told you, tires help us. Chris Rebell trying to get around me, and he does. Now the rest of the field is in lap traffic right now, which is helping me out. I can draft with them, and I can get past them. Do that little slingshot movie. Move it. Move it. Move it. As Barney Stimpleton would call it, move it, Barney. If you guys don't know who Barney Stimpleton is, I feel bad for you. I mean, most of you guys probably don't, but like, I, I still feel bad for you. You clearly haven't lived. And here we are to Matt Crafton. Can we get around him? And we use this draft car, draft with this car. And we've got around him. And these are some more lapped cars. And then there's Chase Briscoe. And Chris Rebell still to get around. Got a draft of Chase Briscoe. Oh, the, uh, Chris Rebell's being held up by... TJ Bell, I think, or is that Regan Smith? I think that's TJ Bell. Oh, caution's out. Caution's out. That's awesome. Nine laps to go. I think Austin Cindric must have had an issue because he's pitting. Okay, so there's going to be a nerve-wrecking restart. I think we're going to have five laps to go, maybe four to go. Okay, so I think we're going to have four laps to go here. Oh, six laps to go. Okay. And we have the lead, but this is getting nerve-wrecking. Tough racing. Me and Chris Bell. Chase Briscoe's also there. Here comes Grant Enfinger, though. We're going to try to draft with Christopher Bell. While bumping and banging and oh gosh, they get by me. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This is really frustrating. Oh no 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 don't wreck, don't wreck, don't wreck. Then I look like an asshole. Okay, good. 
No, 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 no. Oh, god damn it. Okay, caution's out. We're gonna have a restart. We're gonna go into overtime. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't want to do that. I feel bad now. So we're gonna go into overtime. Attempt number one. Keep in mind we have unlimited attempts now. Green flag is back in the air. Okay, can we get around them? I won't feel bad about moving anyone. It's me and Christopher Bell again. It's like deja vu from Charlotte. Okay, final lap. I don't think I'll be able to catch up to him, but I'll, I'm trying. Might be able to at the last second. Okay, giraffe. Use that giraffe. Use that giraffe. And then dive bomb now. And it's not gonna be enough. Christopher Bell is going to win at Dover, and I am going to finish second. Nice try, though. I, I, I think I did really well. Second place. I feel bad about wrecking Stuart Friesen. I didn't mean to do that. Like, seriously. Okay, so here it is. We're driving down, going through the back stretch, and then probably about now. Yeah, you see it just stops. And let's let's see. And there. There it is. Because we, we, we just lost all control of everything. And I was wondering what's happening. And then we, I think we came. Did we come to a complete stop? E yes, we did. We, we came to a complete stop. Now, uh, usually you wouldn't come back from that to finish second. But we did. And then we got back going. And then the caution came out. Because I accidentally hit Matt Kraft. And didn't want to do that. But it happened. So I won one stage. Chris Rebell won one stage. It's exactly like last race. Except Chris Rebell won. Now somebody came uh, on, lap s on lap like 7. They just like... Went to pit road and didn't come back out. Seven playoff points. 15th in points right now. That's awesome. We're doing really good. Fastest lap, Chris Bell, 25-150. Most laps led, Chris Bell, 55. We led, like, 53. On the move, me, 29th to second. Tough break, Noah Gregson, 3rd to 30th. Nice job with that top 25 finish today. We'll keep you in mind for your ride next season. Pay out 10,000. Matt Snyder tweeted at me, Sammy Wilson, 615, racing hot seats can be pretty intense, but I hope you're keeping your cool. Good luck. Well, thank you, Matt Snyder. Love you too, man. Little pump, bless you. See if we have a ride for next week. Uh, Windstar... OnlineGaming.com 400. No offer. Ross Chastain. Ross Chastain? Wow. I guess that's what happened when it's totally randomized. Okay, well, let's see about the next one. Driving for alignment. Oh, come on. Please. Please. This is my home track. This is my... Please. Please. I'll do anything. I'll say that God exists. Yes! He doesn't, but he's still, yes. Okay, so HRE Engine Enterprise, the number 16. That's the one that Ryan Truex races in. You could use your help driving the number 16 truck at Gateway this Friday. Get a top 15 finish and we we'll, might consider working with you in the future. Gateway is my home track. No, we're not racing it right now. Are you kidding me? I don't want to race it right now. Okay, so we can do that. Top 15. Look at the standing. And the playoff standings, we are fifth in the playoff standings. Okay, guys, I really got to go pee right now, so I'm going to end this video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like on it. If you dislike this video, please leave a dislike and a hate comment telling me exactly what I did wrong. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And as always, Sam for Korean Leader. F is for friends who do stuff together U is for you and me N is for anywhere and anytime at all Down here in the deep blue sea